Hey everybody, it's me, Kandor, and welcome back to another video. Um, I know it's been a very long time since uh, I've had anything to post. There's been a lot of crazy things going on in my life. Uh, between work, um, a few hospital visits, family issues, at least one surgery in the, in the family. It's been a little bit rough to find the free time to sit down and to actually be able to do something. Now, normally when I do these videos, I have a script or at least some very basic idea of what it is that I want to do. Today's video is a little bit more off the cuff. Uh, it, there, there's been no practicing or anything. It, this is just off the top of my head. I just felt that this was the right time to do something and to uh, start getting back into making videos again. So with that, I would really like to apologize to all of my users, uh, old and new, uh, for having to wait so long. And uh, also, uh, with what I'm about to show next, I owe a very big apology to a man by the name of Irwin, uh, who was gracious enough to send me something to show you folks. Um, but this is not really entirely about this particular product, but I do wish to showcase it to you and show it to you, um, as I promised in uh, Irwin. Now, in the past, you have probably recall that I have done a few videos on angle finders and uh, with that in mind uh, Irwin uh, has uh, invented something that he calls a saw set pro uh, I mean, it's still even in the packaging I haven't even had a chance to even open it yet um, but this is another angle finder but a truly simplistic one in and of itself now this comes in two different models. It comes in the plastic one and it comes in a uh, stainless steel one. And honestly, the stainless steel one I kind of like a little better. Only because I kind of like stainless steel. Um, and it's also a little bit smaller if I recall properly. But I'm not going to go over too much uh, over this because I've done things like this in the past many times. And quite honestly, I don't think... <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think I could have done a better job at explaining what this is and how this works. Erwin, uh, whoever does your website, they're doing a heck of a job. It looks very nice. It looks professional. It's well done. It's informational. I highly recommend you guys go and, you know, take a look at it. Uh, you might even find information there that uh, doesn't necessarily pertain to this, but might help you out in, uh, you know, another project of sorts. Um, I will leave a link for his website down below. Uh, please give it a look. You will find everything that you need and how to use this. I promise you there. It's double-sided. It, uh, one side is the double miter. So if you wanted to you know, make uh, two di different ends come together at a specific angle, you'd use this one. And on the single side, it's if you just wanted to match one single piece to a second piece, such as they show here, like a 45, at a, at, you know, like a beam or something of that nature. Very easy. Unlike the ones that swivel uh, and open up, uh, with the jaws, there's nothing to move. I mean, some of the other ones, you know, they can have a little slop in the mechanism. So you might be off by a degree or two. And, you know, a, a degree or two doesn't sound like a lot until you start getting something that's, you know, three, four, five feet long. And that one degree is uh, quite a bit, actually. But this is very easy to read. It's lightweight. It'll go easily in anybody's uh, toolbox. It's easy to store. Um, you know, it's just one of those very simplistic things that I think is absolutely beautiful. I mean, just in a, in a very simplistic way. I, I kind of like things like this. I'm kind of old school and I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for the old ways of doing things. And this is probably probably about as old school as you're probably going to get. 
and still be very accurate and very helpful. So again, don't forget to take a look at this. I'll, again, I'll leave links down below to where you can buy this and where to go to his website. Now, with that said, what I do have is, I said in the past that I would kind of like to be able to do a, little, a few more videos, you know, with um, without a tool in mind for those people who may be more craft-minded or not really into tools as much. And for that, I have something for you all. If you're a crafter or a modeler, you're going to love this. This thing right here has blown me away. This is a rechargeable, battery-operated air gun. And I never thought that something of this nature would have the power or the ability to actually work and work well. I was very wrong. This thing works far better than anything that I could have imagined. It works just like a standard airbrush. And in fact, it, in the insides of this, th this is basically just like you would get on an actual airbrush. You have your adjustments back here, which controls the in and out of, you can't really see it here, but there's, you know, the needle valve in there. This adjusts your needle, needle valve. It all comes apart for easy cleaning. Everything can come apart. The trigger can come off. This can come out. You know, this separates from the base. This actually separates from the actual pump. It all comes together very nicely. It's very easy to clean and it works. It's, it comes with three different tanks. It comes with a little small tank here and a larger uh, tank. And it also comes with another tank of this size, but kind of like in a semi-opaque-ish plastic. Personally, I like the metal ones better. Um, I just think that they're easier to clean and hold up better, but that's just me. But again, battery operated. It's not very loud, and I never thought that it would work. You have your trigger up here. You can pull back on your trigger up here to um, how much the flow that you want, and then you press it down to activate the pump. And I don't know if you can all see this, But it does work. It works very well, especially when uh, you charge the batteries because my battery just died on that. But there will be an upcoming video on this. I'm sure that a lot of people will be interested. Even if you're not into crafting, this is actually really nice. Um, somebody who may be into a little bit of body work, you know, maybe you want to uh, fix a couple scratches on a car. If you've got uh, you know, the, the correct color and the thinner, you can just pop this in here and just go very quickly and practically be done with it. Really kind of nice. On another note, another thing that I would like to try to do a video on kind of shortly is another new toy of mine. And that is my thermal imaging camera from FLIR. This is a FLIR product. It is an actual FLIR uh, thermal imaging camera. And this one works in conjunction with a smartphone. You simply plug it into the bottom of your phone, into the charging port, activate the software for it, and turn, push the button on the bottom to turn it on. It's USB-C rechargeable, so you can very easily just charge it in almost no time at all. And once it powers on, it will come up, although sometimes it takes a little bit longer than I would like, but it will come up and then you will have an, a thermal imaging camera. And you can see it is a thermal imaging camera. And it's actually quite nice. I use this a little bit. I use it at work. I use it at home. I use it all over the place. I kind of like it. So we'll do another video of this at some point too. Because this is something else that I, um, I'm actually quite glad that we got. Um, it's actually come in handy. And it's a heck of a lot cheaper than buying the actual handheld uh, standalone unit, which pretty much does almost the exact same thing as this and costs far less. So there's something else that we have. So another new toy that I actually have that I would like to be able to uh, do a video on sometime soon is my, uh, well, there's my 3D printer. 
Um, my new camera. I have a new inspection camera that I have purchased for doing electronics uh, and electronic work. Uh, we have it hooked up over here to the big monitor so I can actually watch this as I actually do actual work. So if I need to get my soldering iron in there, you know, I can actually see kind of what I'm doing. And I can, it makes it a little bit easier on me for my eyes because my eyes actually suck. And doing this without actually watching anything is really difficult. But yeah, you can sit there and get right in and actually see and make sure you get exactly where you need to get to. Because again, my age, my eyes kind of suck. So we'll be doing a little video on this too. This is actually a really nice camera setup, not too expensive. Uh, the one that I bought does come with this little HDMI monitor, which is a complete monitor in and of itself. It's a standalone. You can hook it up to a computer. You can hook it up to a DVD player. As long as it has an HDMI port, you can display it on that as a spare monitor if you like. And I even went and upgraded my computer a little bit. So hopefully now we'll have a little bit more horsepower and a little bit easier for me to actually edit my videos. So there's my desktop and there's my computer that I'm working on. And got my little minions in there to keep an eye on the inside of my computer, make sure that everything's working nicey nice. So with all that, hopefully we'll be able to get back to making videos and entertaining everybody. And again, I want to apologize to everybody for taking so long to get a video out and uh, also uh, for taking you know, kind of having a little bit of a longer video than I probably should have that's not exactly well um, choreographed or whatever you want to call it. But so with that, I'm going to uh, say thank you very much, folks, for tuning in and watching my channel. And until next time, everybody, please stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye.